Oh my god. EA have done an absolute madness today. And, well, considering yesterday's video for me was me predicting what they could possibly do with some of these classic international heroes, uh, I thought I would follow it up today with the actual this is what they've done and oh my god it's a madness type thing so i'm going to show you the 18 players that ea have brought to us today in the uh, america's classic international hero so any uh, any american team um or american nation you could say you know your brazil's your argentina's all of that stuff any of those countries that have had some significant um, performers in football over the past international tournaments, EA have brought 18 of those awesome cards out as international man of the match style items, which is absolutely amazing. I'm buzzing for it. There's some absolutely sick cards as well. Uh, so forgive me if I get a little bit overhyped during this video, but I'm going to show you them. There's 18 cards, so I'm going to show you them in batches of three. Uh, in batches, yeah, three batches of six, should I say. Uh, and you guys are going to see the hype build as the video goes on because they go from the lowest rated ones all the way up to the highest rated ones. And if you guys don't follow like EA and stuff on social media, well, you're going to be in for a bit of a surprise towards the end of this video. So this right here is the first uh, six players that they've brought out out of the 18. Uh, they range from 80 rated to 84. And I've got to be honest, I don't know who all of these guys are. Uh, we've got... Advin Kula, Advin Sula, uh, who again, I just really don't know who he is, but he's a right back, 80 rated with 89 pace and some really good stats across the board. He should go, uh, be a very good card. Uh, we've then got Bravo, Omar Bravo, uh, 81 rated, 82 pace, 80 dribbling. He should be pretty solid as a striker, nice and cheap as well, I would imagine. Ortegoza. no idea who that is, I'm afraid. If you do, let me know what he's sort of famous for. I just don't really know him. We've then got Rodriguez with 87 pace, 84 dribbling, and 83 physical. He looks like a mad one. Uh, and a nice option if you're, if you're looking for a Uruguayan winger. Um, Zuniga comes in at right back today. He's a position change and an upgrade. Uh, that's a great Serie A card as well. At 92 pace, 85 dribbling. That's some pretty sick stats right there. Uh, and then one for you BPL guys. Uh, Fabio Colaccini has got an 84 rated centre back. He's got 72 pace which is absolutely awesome you Newcastle fans are gonna love it I feel like I've been saying the word absolutely too much I apologize for that uh, I'm just a little bit buzzing right now um, that's a really great center back I man of the match for the BPL now we move on to the second batch of six and uh, the ratings get ever so slightly higher we've got some gems in here right now Roque Santa Cruz remember that name from way back in the day he's got an eye man of the match classic hero whatever you want to call it uh, 77 pace 82 shooting he looks like an average card to me I thought his stats would be a little bit higher uh, we've then got Luis Sal and Garay two players I'm not that fussed about because I look at the pace and they just don't look that great but in terms of defending and physical they both look pretty decent um, we've then got Maxi Rodriguez coming in as an 86 rated left midfielder 84 pace 85 dribbling 86 shooting and 84 passing he should be absolutely brilliant uh, and then Lucho Gonzalez I believe that's Lucho Gonzalez right he's an 86 rated central midfielder um, really good stats across the board including 83 dribbling and 87 passing should be a bit of a baller um, Imagine like him in midfield with like the, the center mid, like the Pastores, all of that stuff should be good. And there's also coming up uh, a really nice, uh, another Argentine that you'll see on the next page. Um, and then Pizarro comes in, 87 rated. This is a Bundesliga striker for you guys. Uh, the striker from Peru has this 87 rated card. He's got 79 pace, which is a massive upgrade on. I think he's got like 40 odd pace on his regular item. Uh, then 80 dribbling, 88 shooting. Should be pretty sweet. Um, I'm looking forward to him. He'll be a nice cheap one, hopefully, as well. Uh, and then this is your final page. This is These are the highest rated ones. And oh my god, yeah, you're excited. I can tell it. These... These cards look sick. 87 rated uh, Esteban Cambiasso. He was one of the players that I mentioned in my video. Uh, and he's made it. Like, he's made it even better than I could ever have imagined. Um, only his shooting stopping him from being in Club 80. Uh, and the rest of his stats are just... Whoa, 88 defending, 84 physical. He looks amazing, I must say. Um, Mycon comes in. Now, they've been a bit trolly here. They've upped every single stat like crazy, apart from his shooting, which they've given plus one. 
I thought Mykon might make it to Club 80. He hasn't done. However, he looks just insane, and I cannot wait to get him in the squad. He might be the best right back on the game right now. Um, I know there's some in Club 80 and stuff and Totti Danny Alves, but I think overall he's tall, he's strong. He could be the best right back. Um, Carlos Tevez has got one, which is a little bit null and void because he's got uh, a 91 rated team of the season. So not so much going on there, but it's another Tevez with another cool card style. So that's awesome. Diego, the Brazilian cam has got one. 89 dribbling, 83 shooting and pace, 90 passing, four star skills and weak foot. Shame he plays for Fenerbahce, but I'm sure there's there, there's a perfect link there to Souza, I believe. Um, so that's an option for you as well. We've then got another one. This is weird because Tevez... His international hero hasn't outdone his team of the season. Whereas Julio Cesar, his has outdone his team of the season by plus one. He's now got this 89 rated. Um, and I've actually got a first owner, Tot Cesar, which I haven't sold. So that's a little bit annoying, I must say. Um, and then the best one of all, 92 rated Kaka. Oh my god. I've already bought him. I, I don't even care. I've just bought him. I paid 685,000 coins for him. I feel like that's a great price for a card that looks that incredible. 90 pace and shooting, 93 dribbling, 88 passing. That's absolutely mad. I love it. I can't wait to use him. He will be tomorrow's video. Uh, I'll be featuring him. We're going to go in and play a couple of live games right now, see what we can do. And then also, uh, I'm going to be doing an in-depth review for him for Footwiz. So go and sub to their channel. There'll be a link in the top right corner. So that is what EA have done tonight. It's awesome. They're in packs right now. Go open packs if you want to try and get one. Um, I know that's what I'm going to be doing a little bit later as well. Trying to pack that 92 Kaka. That would be pretty awesome. Um, I hope you've enjoyed the video. I hope it's been informational. I thought I would just round up considering I did the predictions video yesterday. Uh, and this is the confirmed what EA has actually done. Uh, I love the fact that they're the Iron Man of the match card style instead of like a purple hero. Like I originally thought. So that's a great thing as well. Smash a like on the video. Subscribe to my channel if you're new around here. And I'll catch you next time guys. Peace.